Hi guys, this is Logan from Herping Habits, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up a simple spring peeper enclosure. This enclosure is designed for just a, a small baby spring peeper. You know, you don't want anything too big, so that way you can you can find them. I'm using this little uh, little jar thing, and I have all my supplies here that I'm going to use. So yeah, here's the first step. So first, you're going to want to get yourself a bucket of water and some cocoa fiber or just some form of substrate. I like to use cocoa fiber, especially the bricks, because it expands well. All you got to do is put it in water and then you get a, a good amount of cocoa fiber. So then you just let that sit uh, for, you know, 30 minutes. Uh, I'll be back when it's done. Alright guys, so the substrate is done sitting. The coconut fiber has absorbed all the water. And now we can work on... Oh, sorry, it's dark in there. Um, now we can work on the rest of the enclosure. So I actually switched containers. I got this little plastic one because it's clear. I would like to see my frog. Andrew's going to want to open up the container. Grab some of your substrate and put a little bit in there. These aren't... These aren't ground-dwelling frogs. That's why I have a tall container. You're going to want a tall container like this. Tall enough, you know, that your frog can have a good time in there. Not be too cramped. Then, you're going to want to get a water dish. I'm just going to fill mine right now. I like to use little uh, little lids for things like water bottles and stuff, you know, just the store-bought teas and stuff. Their, uh, their stuff works well for little lids. Also, for food, sorry, I gotta move some stuff around here. I have these rice flour beetle larvae. These cultures are really, really cool. You get your beetles, you put them in some flour. They never need any water, which is really, really nice. You get a sifter. Then inside there, probably can't see it very well. Sorry. Are all kinds of little beetle larvae, which work absolutely perfectly as food for small animals, like spring peepers. You can also use things like fruit flies. The bigger and smaller versions of fruit flies should work. Um, wait a second while I put this. The, uh, the little bit of food in there. That's for him. Then you're going to want to take some building materials. I have some small twigs and a piece of bark here. I'm going to put the piece of bark as more of a hide. Like that. And some twigs to climb on. There we go. That looks pretty good. He's got the bark to hide underneath, his food is water, some substrate, and twigs to hide on. Then you're going to want to get a ventilated uh, ventilated lid, and it can just be you poking holes in the lid or whatever. Alright, so now that you have your enclosure all put together, there's only one more step before we add the frog. We just want to give it a little bit of water everywhere, make sure that it's all hydrated. I gotta be careful because I put my food in it. I don't want to drown the little bu the little guys, but you know we just want to give it just enough water that it's not all dry. Because as you know, frogs need moisture. They're amphibians. Okay, I'm gonna get my little spring creeper and we'll add him to his enclosure. All right, so I have my spring peeper and. <laughs> He's very jumpy, so as soon as I open my hand, he's probably going to try and jump out. So we'll see if I can get him in there. Come here, bud. Come on. Go ahead. 
All right. I'm just going to take the extra precaution. Put the lid on. There we go. All right. So now we have our spring peeper enclosure. This is a baby spring peeper. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Please. That's his belly. Over here. We'll see him, are we? There we go. They're very, very cute, and when they're babies, they're small frogs. They won't get too big. I mean, that's my finger next to him. He's a small frog. They'll get probably double this size, maybe a little bit more. But, um, they're pretty good pets. That's my enclosure build. It's pretty... Pretty simple to build a spring peeper enclosure. A couple things before I end off is, first of all, he's very small. So like I said earlier in the video, he needs a small enclosure. Uh, they're pretty easy to keep. And second, when you put this lid on and off, when you take it off, I advise you to be very, very careful because they, they can jump out. And it will not be a fun experience looking for a frog this small. And when you put the enclosure on, be careful not to accidentally clip it on on their toes. It's not a fun experience, and it's a very easy way to kill your frog. See, what they'll do is they'll come and they'll, like this guy here, they'll put their, uh, their toes right up over the rim. And if you don't see that in time and you clip it on, then... <sighs> no, no, not very good for the frog. But, other than that, he should be fine in this. He's got air, a good little place to live. Should be pretty good. Well, see you next video. Bye for now.